Hey Pidgets, my name is Flatbread, and today I wanted to talk about something different than my usual content. I know you enjoy the silly videos of me messing around, but I wanted to talk about taking care of yourself because that's something I learned to do more this year. So without further ado, here is my pamper routine. And go buy my merch. Okay, bye. Because I've dyed my hair a lot recently, it's gotten so damaged that I have that nice crunchy Dorito texture hair. And a few months ago, I discovered this online brand called Function of Beauty. Now hold up, this isn't sponsored because I, that's right, I, went to them and asked them to give me a non-affiliated coupon code because I know this stuff isn't the cheapest, but I do believe in this brand because of the message and the stuff actually does work. I've really been interested in trying out these brands that make 100% custom formulas for you and Function of Beauty creates those for shampoo and conditioner. The formula that I wanted to go for was like to repair my hair, keep the color, and I've actually been trying it for a few weeks and it has been working. But the main reason I like it is just because I believe in vegan and cruelty products and this brand is 100% cruelty free and and they don't even have sulfates, parabens, phthalates, GMLs, you know, every every harmful ingredient you can think of they don't have. All you have to do is complete this two minute hair quiz at their website. You choose your hair type, mine is oily, five goals, those were mine, and then you select your personalized color and fragrance. But I chose blue and yellow as my colors and nude peach as my scent. So if you want this deal, just look at the description. You guys know I hate sponsored videos and I won't mention a product if I don't actually like it and I've used this brand for four months now before actually reaching out to them so trust me it's worth it. And they have stickers which are really cute. First I like to take this Lush Don't Look At Me face mask. It has ground rice flakes, lemon juice, and it looks electric blue but first I have to take this off. You have to keep this refrigerated but it's one of my favorite Lush masks just because you don't use a lot each time and it's blue and it has rice flakes in it and lemon juice. And then when we're done with that, we go into the bath. Usually I take a lush bubble bar, this is the comforter, and you just want a chunk. A small chunk is all you need, like this much. Next, you're gonna put it into one of these things because it gives you more bubbles, and you're also gonna pick up all the crumbs because you still are a cheap Asian. Then you wanna turn on the water to the hottest setting so you get more bubbles. And when it starts burning your hand, you're just gonna put this under the water for a really long time, and then you get all these bubbles, all these pink bubbles. It takes a few minutes for all the bubble bar to dissolve, but once you get it down to the last crumb because you're still that cheap and you want your money's worth, you're just gonna set this down onto the nearest placement and then you're gonna enjoy the mountain of bubbles that you've created. Once you're done playing around with the bubbles and blowing them at the camera like some stupid music video, you're just gonna let the water fill up to the top because you wanna get as many bubbles as you can, and then you put them all over you because we are still family friendly and I don't wanna get demonetized. And then you make a Santa Claus beard because why not? And then you really kick it up a notch of extra and you put cucumbers on your eyes, which guys, it actually works. I don't judge people who do this anymore. And if you get hungry, you know you just... Next I take this Lush Shower Jelly, it smells like lemons and it jiggles a lot, which I like. <laughs> and you just want to rub this all over your body because it does create a lather and then it just feels soothing after. And then usually I go on my phone for way too long. Stereotypical beauty guru transition because I'm basic as fuck. Once you've been in the bath for basically an hour now, you're just gonna wash off the face mask, which by the way, do not keep this on for more than 20 minutes, please. Don't do what I do, else you'll turn out like this mess. <laughs> Oh look, I'm back. Um, now we're gonna take this thing. It's just a facial steamer. So basically you fill it up with water, put it down, put this stupid thing on, plug it in, turn on the lever, and then you just wait. I can't breathe. Once you're done suffocating for 10 minutes, you're gonna put on your dad's robe because you wanna be extra as fuck. And then you take this acne tool and then you just go at it. Facial steaming basically opens up your pores so it makes it easier for you to get out the devils on your skin. And my acne has been really bad right now because of moving and stress and work in general. So I would like these to leave my skin because they don't pay rent and I don't have time for them. Once that's done, I like to take castor oil because it's really good for your skin and you only want two drops. like. That is enough, okay? And then you mix it in with the serum that I found from Christmas. Mix all that stuff up and then you just... 
Basically, I always do this because I feel like it goes into the skin better. I'm not going crazy yet, okay? And I put it over my eyes, eyebrows, and mouth because it does moisturize them. Next, you take this night cream because you want to fix all those battle scars from midterms and homework. And then you just rub that stuff in. Try to do it in an upwards motion because kimchi, the drag queen, taught me that that helps you prevent wrinkles and it helps you stay like a baby. Take any hair oil, you can use the castor oil too, and you just rub it through your really damaged hair because you know it deserves it after all of those bleaches. Finally, we take the gift of God himself. Ew. Um, so I take back everything I said about moisturizing your lips. I take a small brush because I don't like using cotton swabs like they say, and then you just dot this all over your face, take out every single insecurity, imperfection about yourself. Literally, you want to delete all of the acne on your face overnight. And if you have a too much gene, you go overboard and get carried away with dotting this stuff on, and then this decides to happen to your face, and then you go to sleep. And I guess that's the rest of my routine. Well guys, that was my whole paper routine. Now, don't take it as I'm the person who does this once every day. I don't have time to be that extra. But every one or two weeks, I'll try to do this to myself so I can feel better. And because when you go through a lot of stress and you're emotional and sensitive, life gets to you. So sometimes this just helps me relax. If you like these videos, just let me know and I'll make some more, you know, regular normal videos for you guys hope you guys learned something from this and subscribe for more videos every saturday slash sunday or wednesday slash thursdays if i'm not procrastinating all right i love you guys and everything is less than three